Good morning. This is the day the Lord has made, so let us rejoice and be glad in it. I am Pastor Marianne Kellenbach, pastor at Living Faith Church, which is located in the community of tradition in the city of Port St. Lucie in Florida. And today is Wednesday, hard to believe that it's Wednesday already, July the 21st in the year 2021. I hope that um, you are able to have some rest and um, restoration in these summer months. Um, I know it has been a very, very difficult time, um, not only in our country with the spreading um, and the uh, resurfacing or uh, of COVID, but also throughout the world and all the unrest. And, and so we continue to pray for our brothers and sisters who are suffering the ravages of nature and also for those who are in distress uh, as it relates to COVID. Continued, continued prayers. Also for our um, Lutheran brothers and sisters, as well as, well as all of God's children in uh, Cuba, as well as in Haiti. Um, the Lutheran Church there in Haiti and in Cuba, they are our companions synods here in the Florida Bahamas Synod. We continue in this um, season of Pentecost. That is the season we are in. It is the growth season of the church. The color of the day, which I always mention on Sundays, the color of this season um, is green and it's about growth. And it's about that radical growth that we receive in the gift of the Holy Spirit, which the gift in and of itself is a radical gift. And then it helps or causes us to move in a radical new way, um, seeing the kingdom of God present here and now. So this week, we're actually focusing on the story of Abram and Sarai. God changed their name to Abraham and Sarah. God changes names when God is about to do something. And um, this is the encounter that uh, Abraham has with um three strangers. We know who those strangers are. We know that they are sent from the Lord, the Lord, um, God's messengers, God, God's self. Um, but Abraham doesn't know this. And so uh, yesterday, there was the beginning part of the devotion. We're going to continue with that today. So hear these words on this Wednesday. The Lord appeared again to Abraham while he was living in the oak grove at Mamre. This is what happened, or this is the way it happened. One hot summer afternoon, as Abraham was sitting in the opening of his tent, he suddenly noticed three men coming toward him. He sprang up and ran to meet them and welcomed them. I just love these, what is it, three sentences, two sentences, two sentences, just speak so much of this radical um, hospitality. So hospitality in uh, that time frame was critical for survival. There were no inns. There wasn't a place where you could stay. You had to count on the hospitality of strangers um, to offer their home for rest, and especially during the hot time of the day. And um, usually by this time, it's noontime, there would definitely be um, folks who were traveling who would have settled down for a few hours before they would continue on when the heat of the day had passed. So Abraham is sitting there waiting, looking, looking for those who haven't had that invitation and that chance to to rest so that he could welcome them. And notice what he does. So he's on the lookout. He's actually on the lookout. And notice what he does. He sees three men coming toward him. He sprang up and ran to meet them and welcomed them. How amazing is that? That's that radical part that he ran out to greet them, to meet them, and welcome them. 
When have you ever felt that kind of radical um, hospitality? I know that uh, for me, I had felt that radical hospitality when I was visiting um, members of my family. Uh, they would be at the airport waiting to pick me up, and I just loved it, especially my uh, great nieces and nephews. when they, they would see me, and they would just jump like to life and come running, running over um, to greet me and to welcome me, and that was just wonderful. Now, they were expecting me. They were definitely expecting me. So can you imagine what that must have felt like for these strangers to have Abraham come and run towards them and welcome them to come and rest in the heat of the day? On this day, on this day, I want you to think about the times in which you have been greeted that way, where you have felt so important that someone was looking out for you to care for you. And then I want you to think about in what ways are you able to reach out and look for someone else. Try this experiment today or sometime during this week. A cool bottle of water in a brown paper bag, in a brown paper bag. And as you pass along, and we know that there are many there are many who are in need. We see them when we drive our car. Perhaps a radical roll down the window and pass that brown paper bag that has that cool water to that person who could definitely, definitely use um, the love of God and the recognition of that radical hospitality on this day. Think about ways in which you too can practice what Abraham did. Blessings to you and I will see you tomorrow.